Hello, I'm Jeffrey Saad, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a cauliflower pizza crust using the veggie bullet that's gonna blow your mind. So first thing we're gonna do is preheat the oven to 400 degrees. All right, next we have this beautiful head of cauliflower, but we need to turn it into florets and then into rice. Cauliflower rice is gonna change the way you look at cauliflower forever. But the first step is to see how to cut the cauliflower. So all you do is you take a head like this, cut it in half, and you're gonna expose the arms here, and then you just slice in a semicircle, and then the florets just drop off like that. And then the beauty is we're gonna rice this as well. This is delicious. This is like concentrated cauliflower flavor right here. So we'll just cut that in half. So again, just right around the arms, the branches, and the florets come right off and break apart. All right, now you notice I have cheesecloth in the bowl. It's not just for looks. That's serving a purpose and you're gonna see exactly why in a minute. Okay, so we're gonna load up the veggie bullet. It's on the shredder blade with the cauliflower. And you're gonna see how quickly this becomes cauliflower rice in one button. Unbelievable. This is a lot faster than rolling and making and rising full pizza dough. Perfect. I mean, look at this. And this is great, like I get excited, I'll make a side dish, saute, a stir fry. You can mix it into your mashed potatoes and you're gonna get additional texture and beautiful flavor, but you're getting a portion of vegetables. Cauliflower is like the new kale without a doubt. All right, so we're gonna turn this into pizza crust. The first step, this is why I have the cheesecloth, is to microwave it. We're gonna give it a microwave for about four minutes. And what that does is it heats up the cauliflower and brings the liquid to the surface. So then when we squeeze it out, it's gonna change the texture and it's gonna make it really become a dough for the crust. All right, so be careful when it first comes out. It might be a little bit hot to handle. All right, now what that microwave's done is it brought all the water out and it's kind of cooked the cauliflower. So we're gonna bundle this up into a nice little pouch. And if you have a towel, towel will work totally fine as well. You just have a wet towel. All right, so we're gonna bring that over to the sink. I'm just gonna give that a squeeze to get that excess water out. And that's what's gonna allow the crust to come together. It's gonna give it that nice chew and that nice texture. It's gonna really look like pizza dough. Okay, beautiful. So now you open up the cheesecloth and we pour that in. Beautiful. Make a little well in the center. And now we're gonna add our egg. So we've got one egg yolk and then an egg white. The yolk gives it some richness and then the additional white, it almost acts like the gluten. It kind of brings the dough together and gives it that chew when the crust is done. So we're gonna whisk that together. That goes in the center. Then we're gonna add our cheese. Same shredder right into the bowl. I don't buy pre-shredded cheese anymore. I mean, that's so quick and easy. We're gonna mix that in. Now we're gonna add our coconut flour. So again, we're keeping it gluten-free. A Little bit of pepper. We got some parsley. A Little bit of kosher salt. We're gonna start to mix that together. When I was in culinary school, when I first learned to make pizza dough, it would be hours kneading, and I was like, when am I supposed to stop? Because my forearms are throbbing, you know? And then you've gotta let the dough rise, and sometimes it rises too far, collapses, and it was kinda of like a bland cracker crust. But when you love to cook, when you like to make dough, you have gotta get your hands into it. So once we get it to come together a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and clean off the whisk, and then we're gonna move it over here and just kinda of knead that together. I mean, who doesn't, raise your hand if you don't like pizza. Nobody's hand went up, that's for sure, because everybody loves pizza. My wife grew up in Rome, huge pizza fan. I'm a Chicago boy, it was deep dish. All right, so we're gonna get it together. You wanna get the egg and the flour, everything really incorporated nicely and evenly. Then you just transfer it, put that right in the center. This is a non-stick pizza pan, works really well. You can also just take a piece of parchment paper, put it on your cookie sheet, whatever you have, that'll work great. And now all you do is press it out. So instead of having to do that pizza technique where you have to roll out the dough, which is always challenging, all you have to do is press it out like this. And what's great is this is like endless possibilities. I got a little rosemary bush out front so I can put some fresh rosemary in the dough. You can put some roasted chilies in there if you wanna go with like a Mexican style. Push this out evenly, flat. And then you can use your edge of your hand like this to kind of create like a little bit more of a deep dish look or you can press it out really thin. Gorgeous. 
and you get a little more tension just because it's fun to play with the dough. All right, there we go. It's beautiful. If you want to give it a little bit of edge and texture, you can do that as well. All right, so now this goes in to our preheated 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. All right, so we're gonna give that about 30 minutes to get golden and beautiful. In the meantime, we can make the toppings. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is shred the mozzarella. It goes right through here. And you can do this. I love doing this ahead of time. You got shredded cheese, you got vegetables all ready for the week. All right, there's our mozzarella. Now we're gonna do some slicing. And that's what I love about the veggie bullet. I've got like the equivalent of 20 sous chefs in here shredding everything away. Now to slice, you just open it up, flip it over. Now you see that the slicing blade is on top. Slide that in, drops into place. Drop, lock and click, and you're ready to go. We're gonna slice some bell pepper. Some red onion, and I love it. Normally I got bowls everywhere and I'm cutting and making a huge mess. Now it's all in one bowl, nice and clean. Even the mushrooms go right through. I always cut off the bigger, hard end of the stem, but the rest is delicious. That can go right in. And I mean, what I love about it is these slices. It's like perfectly even. And on a pizza, that's crucial because you don't want to bite into like a big chunk of bell pepper. You want everything to be kind of delicate and the heat of the oven just perfectly cook them. And that's what these even slices do. And this is great too, like I'll make a bunch of this beginning of the week. You know you're gonna do a salad one night, you're gonna do a pizza another night, you got all your veggies prepped and ready for the week. Even though it's called the veggie bullet, it does cooked meats really well. Check this out, pepperoni. 30 years of using a knife and perfecting my skills and showing off, I can't even compete with that. In seconds, I got these great slices. All right, so our toppings are ready. Pizza's gonna be done in a second and we're ready to finish it up. All right, so pizza about 30 minutes should be done. Let's check it out. Oh yes, beautiful. Check it out, golden. It even gets a little bit darker around the edges, a little Naples style there, all right? So now we're gonna top the pizza. A little bit of sauce is always important. And I like to put just enough sauce on so that it's moist and get that tangy flavor of the tomato, a little heat, but you don't want it to be sloppy and wet. You wanna keep the crust nice and crisp. Get it right to the edge. The key with a great pizza, like any great dish, is every bite's gotta taste the same. Every bite's gotta have a little something. So we're gonna get that sauce on evenly. Beautiful. It's actually done, now I'm just playing. All right, there we go. And now we'll add our mozzarella cheese, perfectly sliced. And that's important too, because then it's gonna melt evenly, get that little bubbling effect. It's gonna be great. And that's the key with a great pizza too, not too much of anything. Everything should make you beg for another bite, like I want just a little bit more. But we do want it to melt and get to the edges. And this is what I love about it, you know, even though I love pizza and I eat everything, sometimes it's like, all right, I wanna feel a little lighter afterwards. So now I get to still have my cheese, still have my decadent pizza, but because of the cauliflower crust, it's a lot lighter. All right, we'll put our toppings on. My son likes a little more meat. We'll get some more pepperoni on that side. All right, we got our onions. And you know, the imagination is the only limit. Anything on a pizza is delicious. All right. The other thing you could do too, if you got some extra time, you wanna make it a day in the kitchen, you can char these onions first, saute the peppers, get them nice and caramelized, roast them over the open flame, and then put those on top. But this is the quick, easy version. All right, beautiful. All right, this is gonna go in the oven, and now all it has to do is go long enough to melt the cheese, heat up the pepperoni, bring out the flavor of the veggies, it's gonna be delicious. All right, so 15 minutes at 400 degrees. The crust is already cooked, so all we're doing now is melting the cheese, bringing out the aroma of the pepperoni, the mushrooms, because that half the joy of a pizza is seeing it come out of the oven, melting, gooey, and smelling delicious. All right, so after 15 minutes, it should be perfect. Let's check it out. The aroma's amazing already, wafting out of the oven. Oh yeah. That is unmistakably why we love pizza. Check this out. Perfectly brown edges, like it just came out of our uh, wood-fired pizza oven. Melted cheese, the veggies are perfect because of that thin slice. Time to cut in. And it's just like a crust. It has a little bit of a snap when you go in. And I love the crispy edges. Oh yeah, that is pizza. This is not a sacrifice, this is pizza at its best.
Eating your vegetables has never tasted this good.